Welcome to the Moon and Sagittarius reading. I hope you're all doing well and taking care of yourselves. The full moon is in Sagittarius and I'm going to do a reading tomorrow morning. Get up with the moon. And I've also linked the folder of the sun sign readings below if you haven't checked your sun sign reading yet out and would like to. Now let's see what's happening. We know we're healing to transform. We're evolving. We're entering our new cycles. Hmm. The King of Wands. Hello, and there you are. This is transformation right now. This is, there's a transformation from night to day, from dark to light. This is definitely an achievement of something. I can feel the strength that this achievement, the strength that it gives you, the part that it plays in your journey. Well, got a flyer. More swords. And we have the Knight of Swords. Either you spoke your truth and it was a very freeing, harsh truth, or someone spoke a very freeing, harsh truth with you and you had a battle. And remember, it will resonate differently with everyone who's joining me here because all of our paths are unique. But this is this was something, this was a meeting of truths, either with yourself within or with someone that you loved and cared about. <clears throat> and it transformed you. It, it was, it was hard. It was, I feel like it was either hard to say or hard to take. There, it, but it, this allowed for so much light activation. Yeah. Because here we have the healing victory. And look, now we have the queen of wands. This is balance. This is balance restored. These are counterparts. And here's the healing victory. This is crossing the bridge within to decide, you know, I'm going to heal now. And here it is. This is creating that space. That space within integration of sun energy, balance of masculine and feminine. Through telling of truth of the light. And there it is. It's like the karma scales are balanced now. All, and now the sword can be put away. All because this truth was told. And this truth activated the light. This truth activated the growth. It's beautiful. It's very healing. Let's just see what's being activated. The Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Discs, Diligence. This is continued to do inner child healing. And work on what we came here to achieve. And there it is, there's the evolution right there. Resurrection. We've integrated the bird's eye view because we've gone within and found a strength to transform. To transform and heal our inner child and give ourselves activation to the light at all times to be there for one another to be balanced. Hmm. I just wanted one more card. That's that's a couple. There we go. And the four of wands. Success, completion. You walk across 
the bridge to this whole new environment and space you've created because you've done inner child healing and you've integrated the sun there's a whole new room within for your soul to just play in and be safe and have freedom because you've integrated higher self and this is your success in doing so but this is this is acting off wisdom knowledge applied that's why we have the counterparts here that are wants, right? And you know all about wants. It's that fiery Sagittarius energy. Now let's get a message. Seven of fire. Lots of fire here, baby. I like it. I'm so excited to do the moon reading tomorrow. The seven of fire. Personal best, going the distance, perseverance, non-conformity. I'm unstoppable. My passion pushes obstacles aside as I engage in sustained effort. I know how to bend, but I don't compromise on what's important to me. If others aren't happy with the course I am on, I don't have to let their concerns affect me. I release the temptation to resist challenges and I trust that I can make things happen as I live life on my own terms inspired solutions present themselves and that sounds like a very Sagittarius thing to do come on that's incredible balance restored justice Karmic scales balance. And you know, with the tower right here like that. And this is the thing is that the tower is cosmic forces at hand that are helping to balance the karmic scales because we we can't always do so. And we free ourselves from the cage. And we just do that with endurance, the nine of wands. This is the energy of Sagittarius. This is taking that aim to continue on our visit visions on the path of the moon. Now let's see what you're healing. We're in a time of healing. Inner authority. It sounds about right to me. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. And this is you taking back your power. Listening to your intuition, your desires, your feelings. Your, this is your heart chakra activation. This is your inner authority. That's that space. That's making that home, that space within the, the whole room for inner child to be integrated with and meet up with higher self. Inner authority. And we know we always have our own back. I want to thank you for joining me here. I'm going to see you again soon. Take care.